Hey, hello anyone who may be watching now, later on on YouTube, Helene here, along with... Drakir! And, well, last time things didn't really go as planned, and guess who immediately after they... Uh, well, almost immediately after they finished the stream out of freaking frustration, they, well, tried again after finding out a little annoying something, specifically being that the charm power seems to be glitched, that if you're too far away, your target will auto panic in a cycle. So, yeah, I did this fight again uh, <coughs> and well, recorded it. So, in a bit of a test for me getting a, a stream intro working, uh, <laughs> here is me trying to get video working this. So, let's have a look well, to how I did it. Yeah, just normal. It took a few tries because Sebastian is still a bitch to fight. The sound is coming through. Yep, I can hear the sound. And yeah, it turns out you can just grab the bitch as well. So is this a comic or for? Just how <laughs> how wide his eyes go. I can barely see that due to pixelation. However, only if you regular stream. The steam ventilation there is louder than the voices. Yeah, I, yeah, it's because I uh, wasn't recording my voice during this. No, no, I, I mean the character voices. Okay. This is odd for when you play it normally. It's reverse. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, you can just pick him up, squeeze him a few times, and then bitch slap his, his ass away. Uh, but. Other than that, the first round is just more of the same. Only, well, it, it's much easier to throw him into the steam and damage him through that. Because as if you look to the side, that does deal a, qu a good amount of damage to him. Yeah. But that, that oh. does a lot more. And yeah, phase two already. We've already seen this as well. He just Speedy Gonzalez's ass around the room. And <laughs> like an idiot, he jumps into the whirlwind of whatever that is. I have... Oh, it seems to burn him like it's water, but it doesn't... Other than it being blue, it doesn't really look like water. No. There may be vampires that have weaknesses, but I don't think the... Whatever that is, still hurts him, even if he's not weak against it. Okay, two times. It takes three, like the other one times. It's kind of like... If you're, all, if you're weak only to your weaknesses, then why even use swords against you? Let's deal with his annoying taunts. Until he sticks to the wall like an annoying bug. And there he goes. And yeah, the rest of this is pretty short. <coughs> also, what he says there is peon raised dais. I c kept mishearing the first word. What did you he think he said? Uh, I didn't hear what he was trying to say before. Uh, Probably right. because I was also freaking annoyed. And hold on a, a mo. Oh, come the hell on. Hmm? It hasn't been playing in the stream here. It's, it's been it's, playing it... for me? Uh. Wait, you mean the, everyone else has been this missing it except me? Yep. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing change windows again. This time show you OBS instead. Uh, okay, so that is something that I'll have to figure out. It might, we, might, we might as well skip to the last section because, well, we, we've already seen Sebastian get his ass kicked in the first two sections plenty of times. So finally, <laughs> sorry for that everyone, I, yeah, I haven't really tested how OBS works. If it is giving audio, I can't hear it myself. I can't hear it myself either at the moment. Destroy! 
okay when I pause it the media source volume sound stops but I'm not hearing it so okay but everyone else will be here able to hear this bit uh, yeah third phase he goes up on the dais tries to destroy the nexus stone if you let him do that for too long it, it blows up and it's game over but yeah you have to charm them from a distance and as I'll make my annoyance known in a bit yeah <laughs> You, you just have to stand freaking close to it. They're fine out late. Freaking deadly. And I might as well pick this bit. Video player. Because apparently that doesn't work. Why the hell? Okay, away with you. But yeah, after. You just pull the switch, which turns all of the steam on. And then you. <laughs> you smack his ass back into it. And yeah, he'll die easily enough from that. I was the involved. <laughs> and after that is just a cutscene. It, it is annoying that I can't hear it even myself now. I'll come or either. that you can't. <clears throat> I could look it up on YouTube later. Tell me about the and it isn't stone that is important. Born. What is its purpose here? Well, Speak. Shut up now. And I will for the rest of the <laughs> tech. <laughs> <coughs> come, Kane. You lie in your throat, and we both know it. You are going to kill me. Indulge me, then, before you die. I'll tell you so that I may see your face when you learn. You are powerless. You cannot win. Your death is inevitable. The Nexus Stone's portal leads to an ancient device, deep underground, that will spell your destruction, Kate. A new reign will begin in Norskoth. What is the purpose of this device? How will it serve the Seraphan Lord? Alas, he has not entrusted me with that knowledge. But soon, everyone will know it. His plans are even yeah. now coming into fruition. Where is the device? Where? Under the earth. It lies beneath Meridian. Seek for it, if you will. I die happy in the knowledge that all your efforts will be wasted. Oh, Sebastian. Our destiny could have been glorious. The land was ours for the taking. History would have been rewritten in our image. But not everyone shared my vision. And now your time is up. Your death will only make me stronger. I hope that knowledge comforts you in your grave. Basically, <clears throat> the Nexus Stone was a, a load-bearing <laughs> artifact, as the trope would be, and the place blew up. Better than dead. How did I come here? You are fortunate. One of our vampires saw you thrown from the roof of the factory as it was destroyed. He carried you here. The Seraphan were too occupied to notice you. Ah, 
I see that you have the Nexus Stone. And I see that you were courteous enough not to relieve me of it while I lay unconscious. I met another old friend, a vampire, guarding it. Before I killed him, he told me something unsettling. He spoke of an ancient device underground that will bring about victory for the Saraphan Lord. What do you know of this, Forador? I have heard tell of strange discoveries deep underground. Ancient legends speak of huge machines deep in the earth, left by the gods in eons past. And I know of one who can tell us the truth of this matter. She is a seer, a being said to be older even than I. We are fortunate in that she owes me a favor. Go to her, Kay, and learn what she knows. Go to her? This city is a walled fortress. How do you propose I get out? There is a secret way out of the city. I will show it to you. You may follow a canyon that leads north to her abode. The way will not be easy. Strange beasts roam outside the city, preying on travelers. The people call them demons. I believe I've met one of these already. I hope your seer's knowledge is worth the risk. Well, <laughs> what the? was that? <laughs> what were you going here for? Miss, you <laughs> we could hear the rap, the, your rappers there. Oh, I did that intentionally. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's remove this. Or what if we see if I can torment you a bit? Wrong one. Let's see. Oh, I've been holding this board too long. It's got started to melt in the wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just invisible that one, and then we're up to the game itself again. So. Now I need to sh share this game to you again, but yeah, at least we've had a trial by fire of how video works with OBS here. So yeah, sorry for the people who I've brought out of their skull in the first, the first five minutes or so of that. But yeah, it was, it probably would have been better if I had just fought him again, but he was such a fucking pain to fight. It, <laughs> probably would have made me s it probably would have annoyed the piss out of me again but basically uh, at the end there for the Kira because he didn't have sounds neither did I uh, yeah Vorador and his people pulled us out of the wreckage of the factory and now we are to find I believe a witch in the outs outside of the city but because the place is in uh, a lockdown that would make Fort Knox blocks uh, we are having to use, or we had to use, a secret tunnel. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kane has a new outfit, or at least he now has a... a I wouldn't call it a turban, that was the for first thing that came to mind, but... Yeah, now he has a hood. Hmm? Interesting. Aim in business. Watch this. I thunder every week I depart by this gate. Name and business. Puro, bringing supplies to the garrison beyond the abode of the witch. There is my toll. The bridge has fallen. Again? And they've not repaired it? There's more important matters afoot. A company's being sent out. The smugglers are to be destroyed at last? Smugglers? There's worse than that infesting the roads. But now the culprits will be dealt with. At long last. I pay such high tolls if they won't keep the roads open. That's what I say. Hold your tongue! You may not keep it long. Open the gates there! Okay. 
Okay, so basically a car. Yeah, so I think you could say call it a carriage. True. Well, no, I, I, I expect them to call it a, uh, something like a steam carriage. Probably. Hey, wait. I think that's actually not a thing. I think the earliest version of it was from China from 1200 or something. However, it was a very small thing. So you couldn't ride it. Okay. It was basically like, like a. Yeah, it, it was sort of a, bo a dining bowl, really. This is something they. They, they may put you up in the box here. It's too cold, I tell you. We're grumbling. I'm sure we'll find more tomorrow. Providing we don't freeze to death out here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. short conversation between those two. Yep. I just see if I can find that video later for you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, before I forget. Today, I have two things today here. Victor and Twix. And yes, it was a sneaker wrapper I was combining your wit. And. Uh... Okay, the, the hood makes Kane look even more sinister than normal. Yeah, and what the heck are those? Uh, wait, swords? I think? Yeah, they're the normal swords, like. Sort of Amazon warrior. Hello there. Uh, okay, he just <laughs> punched that tiger in his chest. Uh, well, why don't you just come here? Or are you programmed to not? You're not. You're programmed to stay where you are. All right then. One on one. Nope. <laughs> that was a very telegraphed attack. A bit of an over... Yeah, overcomplicated one. <laughs> okay, yeah, the hood really adds to his creepiness. <laughs> Especially when his light eyes light up like that underneath. <laughs> yeah. Same with me with this bit the black sheep for the games. This game does have the best kill animation. Yeah, it, it has pretty much the only one. Well, the other ones have you impale them on uh, walls and such, but... Yeah, or on the raver. Uh, but, yeah. yeah, it was basically two sorts of animations. Like, sticking a staff through something's gut. Uh, sticking them to a wall and running them through with the reaver. Or tossing them into a fireplace or a puddle of water. Yeah, but that doesn't really count as a kill animation. <laughs> uh, let's see. Guessing we'll have to find something to open that gate. And this is where yeah. we came from. Okay, I'm guessing we are on the outskirts of the city, into the, in the wildlands beyond. Hmm. I think I should realize something here. That is? In, in all the games, when you kill an enemy, it was alright for your soul, and killing in the final death scene of the bosses were epic. But in this one, the most epic is on the all the regular mobs, and the yeah. bosses here are the most the boring deaths, almost. Yeah. That's kind of bad, ain't it? Yeah, as we've said, this isn't the best game in the franchise. It certainly doesn't live up to the other standards, but it isn't terrible at least it, it is playable it's enjoyable uh, but it doesn't match up to the rest of the franchise and how the hell am i supposed to get through here yeah they're trying to improve the franchise i am um, i 
I mean, look at it, uh, a sort of a try, at least. You see, like, you tried very hard, but uh, didn't re reach the finish line. Yeah. And yeah, my dumbass missed an open, uh, pretty obvious passage again. So let's see. This this reeks of a leap. Or actually, no. Th we're all, this is already on the other side. <laughs> yeah, oh right. Uh, what was your new new power? Uh, Berserk. It seems to be a combat one. Wait. What? Yeah. It, I'm not really sure what the diff, how much of a difference it'll be with the Fury Strike. Maybe it's a temporary uh, attack buff or something. Okay. What the expected from there? Music is very loud. Yeah, the, the music is a tad loud here, yeah, even for me. And the, the power part didn't actually seem to fill up there much. Is that... does this is berserk? Okay, I'll have to check how that one activates or starts to fill in. Yeah, probably try to reload with the music. Okay, give me a moment. Not save game. Options. Sound. Better? Maybe? You're no longer in combat, so... Wait... Let's see, what do we have to do with this schmuck? There we go. I forgot I rose my own body on my own end. <laughs> we had a lot of time, we the newbies. Okay, that deactivated water wheel. Not really sure why those are connected to the <laughs> water wheels. Help! Question. And also, uh, uh, what? By the hood, I agree. He's... He, he really does change up a lot uh, in this game uh, in uh, outfits. And I kind of like that. Yeah. Have a bit of a look. Can't get up there from here. I'm oh, oh, I see. We get on this, and can we? We can't reach that. Yeah, I'm still surprised he did a bit of a berserk for. Yeah, pr probably so from that guy. I expected to, you know, have a super run or something. Uh, his boots were always glowing. Yeah, it, it might, it might be something, it might be that it's just uh, oddly named, but we'll have to see what happens with it. Let's just keep it selected so we can keep charging it. Uh, actually, I should, <laughs> I should unselect it again, because we need to <coughs> charm this one again, pull the lever. Reset everything so we can probably use the buckets to go up, but with the box we just moved, uh, the gate will stay open. Yeah. Right there. Okay. I think I already grabbed a new sword, but might as well be certain. Oh, uh, I was totally expecting this place to be filled with water. Uh, I saw... Okay, I found it in the dark. I saw a ladder here, is what I was going to say. 
I didn't see the ladder myself. <laughs> In immediately we go back down. Yeah. I don't see the ladder because of pixelation. Okay, we seriously need to figure out what the hell keeps causing that. Yeah, but yeah, this time I'm not having the uh, exclamation mark in the corner, so it's not the uh, lag on my end this time. Yeah, hold on, where the... Oh. It seems I'd removed the post that I'd put up here for things to keep in mind. But yeah, I'll have to figure. I'll have to add Discord pixelization uh, causes to that. Yeah, but well, the latest time I have actually, yeah, this would have been asking me how my stream was, and I told them pixelation has been issue. Yeah. So hopefully they will fix that on their uh, end. Just a moment. Okay, this is the other side. I think, and <laughs> only just reached that. Or, wait, is this? I think this is just the start. Yeah, that that is where we started. That If <laughs> I if we'd fallen over here, I should have leaped that. If we'd fallen down there, I'd have <laughs> had to go back all the freaking way. Uh, this leap is such a... Forgettable power. Oh. Oh dear. What? Actually, can I grab these guys? I think you're happy in the boss. <laughs> oh, it's, I think that's just that seems to be the standard way of uh, attacking these guys with basically anything. <laughs> okay, that just that just looks wrong. <laughs> what the heck happened to his chest? A heart attack. I think we more like a heart attack and a long attack. Along with several other organ attacks. Okay, I'm guessing these two are smugglers that have been caught. Mm. But they're the moonshine. Let's see, we have another. I actually have no real clue what. Another servant, I'm guessing. Well. Hmm. Not really sure if servant would be the accurate word. hell is this? A box. Or something. I, I, I know that most of the time when you stand still, the pixelation won't calm that down. But, yeah, at the moment I don't know. I have, we have had moments where the pixelation was just uh, almost not like them. Yeah. How did you miss me there? Uh, good question. He's dead. And there we go again with whatever that is. Wait. Yeah, yeah. The look his chest turns into a giant heart and punched or something. Look at speed. Okay, this is a bit trickier. Uh-oh. No, um, he just runs away. Okay. What was the load? What uh, they load with their crossbows or armor legs? Okay, just... Oh, then she's already done with. Yeah. Uh, you are done as well. I had to 
to remember to look into the... Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna do that now. Let's figure out the name of that weapon. Okay. It might be in the Soul Reaver wiki. Exactly where I'm about to look. Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised is if surprised if it's just called Giant Axe. Oh, and I we filled out the Berserk bar without me noticing. So, what happens when? Oh, that sort of Berserk. Just a flurry of blows. And that took this guy out in it. one go. I just missed it! <laughs> no! Do it again, please. Uh, are on the next victim for who the bar is filled up on. <laughs> Actually, it. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be going up by attacking, or if it is, it's only a small amount. So, I'm guessing you have to block to charge it. It's a sort of nice, uh, well... Uh, the Fury attack charges on defense as well. Yeah, and on... I can like it, it encourages you to block. Yeah, since blocking is basically required in this game. <laughs> Yeah, in most games I'm usually horrible at dodging and blocking, but again, Facebook used to have been gotten better at it. But there are some games that find that the blocking and dodging system is just horrendous. Yeah, the Arkham games yeah, are great with that. Yep, <laughs> I, I thought this was one of those blood boxes, but it's another one of those... I'm guessing it's coals in a box? But, uh, yeah, a good fighting system can make or break a game. Uh, sure, a lot of even bad games uh, with good story can uh, find their fans. Uh, and, well, th in the reverse, a, bad s a, s a story with a bad... S uh, a game with a bad story can be saved by amazing gameplay. One uh, example of which I'd give would be Borderlands 3, because from what everything I've heard from what have people have been saying on that, they all hate the story. <laughs> but on the flip side, what I hear is that it has the best uh, gameplay, or the best gunplay, and... Quake? No more, more Tremor there. We're going to... Oh, they crashed! Oh, a new weapon! I should... I should spend less time gawking at the weapon and more on blocking so we can show off the Fury again. Or not the Fury, the Berserk. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I just looked up, but I've got no list so far, but it mentioned on Victor that the heavy, some heavy weapons are able to kill an enemy with a single blow. Oh, well, you'll see uh, it here. Oh, nice! Okay, give me that, and give me you. I, s I said, give me you! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> this one again! <laughs> oh, that's the third weapon that does that. This one might be worse! Oh, maybe not worse. He did it with a cloak? That's worse than that with an Imagine he was having to find the bodies. How yeah. they react to it? Yeah, and they're basically bisected from the from the bottom down. <laughs> it's 
Okay, this one is least is smarter. Okay. This was a front shot in bridge. <laughs> Not that it'll help her much, since, well... Yeah. Okay. Can I leap? Oh, I I can't jump on top of her. Arden. What? Uh, burp again. Okay, why? <laughs> that was a wide swing. You call that a burp? Yeah. Oh bloody heck. What the way is kind of happy you don't do that kill animation with that axe? Yeah, that, that, would, that would really leave just two halves of a corpse. Yeah! Or a man who has to compress and fight the boss! <laughs> what the? Jane just got hit by rubble. Okay, that... Uh, yeah, he would not have been able to dig himself out of that. Oh, so he's ugly. Yeah, it's another checkpoint, and that was a... <laughs> that was a pretty stock bird noise. Yeah. Yeah, I, I must say that... Uh, with this thing and the hood... Uh, Kane looks a bit like a Prince of Persia character. <laughs> oh, hello, another new weapon. Yeah, kinda. I agree with you there. Uh, have you played those games? Yeah, I'll, I've played uh, almost all of them. Okay, Pierre, no need to keep showing off. <laughs> I mean, the only one I'm playing with is, uh, or, or they have been one of the Temple of Time, you know, and friends play with some of them by my PlayStation 3, you know. Uh, let's see, I've played Prince of Persia 3D, never managed to finish it though. Sands of Time, uh, Warrior Within, <coughs> yeah, Two Thrones, and the, uh, sort of the subtitleless reboot from 2009-ish. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I've, I'd call myself a fan. Yeah. I I was confusing the block button with the, the rap button. Don't remember. Oh, the remote on my little brother's hat, and the one on the remote of, from that game is the Middle Eastern Heavy Metal. <laughs> uh, yeah, Warrior It In was questionable among fans. I didn't <laughs> mind it. it. Oh, come on! <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, God. I was gonna say, I love the music. Yeah. But it was. What do you mean, in a way? Uh, I might add that to the Let's Play list sometime. I will welcome it. I will welcome it. Yeah, the last game is a bit... A bit odd since, well, it gets repetitive. Uh, but then again, you can say that of almost any game that goes on long enough. And uh, yeah, we complained about how the... <laughs> The combat in this is getting repetitive. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I might do uh, something Sunday on the last Prince of Persia then at some point. Uh, and find a way, find somewhere to fit in the other ones. Because I've already established, I've already gathered up a a decent list of games to let's play eventually and after we're done with Blood Omen here 
I'm thinking of just doing a few games that aren't related to each other. Um, yeah. And yeah, we have two games from Something Sunday that we want to explore more. So we should probably keep a slot open for those as well. Definitely. <laughs> And yeah, it seems that Saber is just a reachkin sword, so nothing major with that. And yeah, I, I'm not sure if I should say that these are a bit too agile to be Amazons and more that they're female brigands. Because I think Amazons are generally more known for a high strength than extreme agility like these two. Oh, hello, I thought you were dead. I think they're usually known for either high strength or mix of both. See, can I like, get you here? I, I, I think we've both seen Wonder Woman and seen on those. Yeah, but I'm... Mm. Yeah, those are... Those have basically become what... Uh, the term Amazon refers to these days, but I think mm, uh, yeah, th those two are ba pretty much super powered. So for supposed actual Amazons, which have uh, of that, however those may be, I think are generally more cons <coughs> related with strength and actually, maybe archery. Actually, yeah, I actually saw a video about them. And then they discover more and more that the, the Amazons were, were actually a war with more of uh, the Skishtian tribes. Okay. So they were, they were, the, and the more and more Greek traded with them, the more and more they realized uh, that they were depicting them wrong. And they went from Greek armor to Skiffian armor, pointed helmets and all that. Uh, okay. Bows and banner access. <coughs> I think it was also a common thing among Amazon archers to basically amputate one of their breasts because, well, it would otherwise get in the way of uh, removing the bow from that. Because the typical way that people wore bows back then was the string along the front and the actual uh, bow part. I forget if there's actually a specific term for that. But the string to on the front of the body would be behind, and yeah, it'd be uh, a bit annoying to have to pull that pull that thing forward and then off, and if you can just pull it sideways and off instead. Yeah, and I think that's a myth, since there are ways to prevent that, like a good chest plate and all that, to prevent it having something get stuck in the string. I think that uh, a bit of the rest is a false thing. Just to considering, yeah, if you remove a breast that way, that's that's a serious wound. Yeah. And there yeah, could be a miss, yeah. And hello, you are an easy yeah, target. Very stupid one, since I think doing that could lead to death, at least from back then. Yeah, pretty much in the old days. Any wound serious enough could lead to death if not uh, cleaned and such. Yeah. I, th I think most of the deaths in war typically came from people getting sick and dying, actually. Yeah, or dying from infections if they did not die, are they outright from a combat wound. Yeah, that basically, I probably spoke there. What I was trying to say is that more people generally died from infections. Uh, then from direct combat, I think yeah. it's in, it's rather impossible to prove, of course. But yeah. medicine until like the uh, until like the 1900s or so was still uh, questionable. Yeah, there were some cultures that were very good at medicine, but even then had some questionable things. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the same review, I have been investigating more and more skiffy and graves, and then discovered that many of the bows they fought were warrior men, were actually warrior women. So they are get the answer that okay, 
Amazons were actually the female members of the Scythians for every man and woman fought in their tribe. Okay. So the Greeks started to think, oh, they have women warriors, and they probably made a mistake to think they were different culture. There are, it's not just the same culture. Uh, I think that for as many thing, for as many good things as the Greek uh, did, I think sexism was still prevalent throughout that. So, yeah, yeah. they'd have a, they'd have ideological uh, reasons for wanting to uh, say it were all men and such. Yeah, I mean, in, in this Amazon, it has been become clear that. Greece were very mixed feeling about them, but many praised them and many were very mixed feeling about them, so, yeah. And, not to make you think of things I read that I am a bit, eh, about, like, no between a man and woman is uh, true, uh, is true love. L love between two men is a furious form of love, apparently. Because I thought, um, okay, why not? Why can't all love be equal? Uh, I feel like if they, if if I had got to read it, if they, they didn't say this, but if they had written that that love between two two women were unpure, I would probably be damn pissed. Well, there, there, there was the case of at least one battalion. I don't remember which country. It was from, but basically, um, it was an elite squadron. If squadron even a, uh, it was an elite battalion where basically it was all men, but they were all paired up in twos, and basically they did everything together: eating, dining. Uh, you, you can, basically everything. Uh, yeah, the, the, I believe the idea behind it was that if they had uh, a lover or a partner to fight side by side uh, with, uh, they would fight even harder. And, well, to my knowledge, that <laughs> those uh, they kicked uh, plenty of ass during their time. But eventually, okay. I think they also got wiped out. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm completely forgetting on who they were and such. Okay, so no, I no. I might just be getting things wrong. But I think the main thing was that they were basically uh, at least pushed to be uh, gay couples during that. And that they did do a lot of work and survived yeah. a lot. Oh god. Yeah. How a, a disclaimer since we're on your topic. It doesn't matter if you're gay, lesbian, straight, asexual thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. You, you love who you love. Yeah, love is love, the rest is not a fucking <laughs> factor, I'd say. Yeah. Though, it does remind me of a very stupid thing the Spartans did try to do. That was? They tried to make babies, the two men. But if they, so far, they, they thought if the two men bred, they would have super soldiers. <laughs> uh, well, Sparta might have been known for being strategically and militarily powerful, uh, but no one really claimed them to be scholars. Yeah, but part of me just hope it was a Athenian propaganda only, and they were not serious about it. Uh, that lever oh, opens yeah. the doors, Becca. Yeah, for, but you hear yourself, it sounds a bit almost too stupid. Uh, yeah. Though, I, there is one little caveat. Um, yeah, with the Greeks... The Greeks basically they fucked around as much as they could, but there was still some sort of prejudice in that. Um, in that, they typically re believed that the re between uh, men making love, that the one receiving was uh, lesser of the two. 
Though, again, I am no expert on hist history. Vini might be able to confirm or deny that. Or disprove would be a better uh, word. Yeah. Well, it, it, we, we live in an age of many information. But it's a bit hard to know which information is still correct or not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hello there. Show yourself. What? Oh. Okay, I I can't tell if this thing is mechanical or necromantic. Maybe a bit cold. I thought first it was a Hildred, but it's, no, it I'm has sure. the Hildred glow, where it has the similar glow to the to the Seraphim Lords. True, sure, but then. Again. I don't know if Hildred may uh, did anything necromatic. And the way it sounds, it sounds more bone. And if it was Hildred, why attack their own troops? That they seem to be allied with Saravan. So uh, it's in, it's more that like uh Hildred is in charge of the Seraphan. It, that's what more what it looks like more to me. So, hmm. And it kicked your ass. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. In this game, you you have actually been beaten up a lot more than the other games. <laughs> yeah, because in this one, death is a lot more weighty. Yeah, and when we ordered in the. the in this game, it is a bit harder to fight enemies. Yeah, especially with the lo the lock-on feature being uh, temperamental. Yeah, the, that one is a damn uh, bullshit. But if we, if we were to remove that, I would say that the enemies here are a bit, uh, at least tougher, and not crucial worse. Yeah, like the that. Oh, I saw that one coming. Can I grab you? Oh, okay, that's a lot of damage. Okay, yeah, we should fear these things. Oh, come the hell on. I'll be sending you like this later. Yeah, we have to be real careful with these things. And actually, give me that. Okay, yeah, we're we're saving that for the for these things and okay, oh, we can still drink from these things. Okay, <laughs> that must have left a bitter taste in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, and I think you asked about the break. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> when facing those things, beware. Yeah. And uh, it seems like they've. Oh, come on, another. All oh, right. I hope you don't tell you about your axe about the brain. Yeah, you t you said that. It's just I <laughs> didn't expect it to shatter full out. Uh, I guess we'll just get to see uh, what Berserk does without a weapon. That's <laughs> pretty much what I expected. <laughs> just slap the ever ever loving shit out of it. Nope. Oh, he targeted the the body beneath his feet, so. That caused that little uh, shake. <laughs> These things do have a lot of blood in them. Yeah, perhaps they are stealing blood from corpses. Could be. For some reason. So now the question is... Why did you 
kill that one easy. Unless... Yeah, because... You now it could be that the first one they introduced was buffed a bit. And it could of course be because I was blocking a lot better. Yeah, and it was only now you start to use the Zerg against it. Yeah. And yeah, I guess the Zerg is required against those? Uh, probably not required, but uh, highly advised. Um, not, I don't think so, it might be the lighting more. I guess I hope it is lighting and not a stronger version. And what the heck is this thing? Actually, I am a little bit I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the Hildren. <laughs> Because, well, as we saw in Defiance, though that that video is long gone by now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, Green Glow was related to the Hildren. Oh, and we need a weapon to open that up. Oh, and there are also spiders. Let's not hang around too long then. And there's another nest. And here's another one of the motherfuckers. I just said that I see he's on the wiki list. Hilden spider. Hil did you say Hilden spiders? Demon spiders. Okay. Uh, I got to check with you. Okay, it's this deep. Do you fight another one? Shut up. <laughs> There we go. Much better. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need Berserk to deal with these things a lot better. Ah, thank you. Uh, let's go back to charge this thing up. Even though it is just a, a sword, and not the big ass thing. But I don't think we'll really find any of the giant axes here. Okay, next gate. Time check. Okay, about an hour. And, uh, hello. <laughs> I think it's supposed to drain him. Yeah, but we can only drain them when they're dead. <laughs> and that wasn't much to begin with. Lesser demon. Okay. Well, I, I think the, I think the children were basically sent to the demon realm, so it, it sort of makes sense they'd be glowing. Wait, wait. Why are these two not glowing? Okay, the picture I'm looking at uh, uh, looks like those without glow, so does that mean... Green, green is a sign of Hildren possession. Or green glow is a sign of Hildren possession, so... Okay, that explains why those were tougher, and... Didn't see that one coming. Or I should've, but I didn't. If these things are going to start showing up in pairs and more, they're going to be a real problem. Uh, I have to say, 
these not really the demons one used to see that are all skeletal. Uh, well, they they look pretty skeletal to me. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, it's normally going to be like that. Normally, you know, like a flesh or burning. So, the hindrance is supposed to be thrown even, so... Are these wild ones? Uh, I'm guessing they are, yeah. Well, they're not. They're still powerful. And I, I was half <laughs> expecting the blade to break there. Okay. Yeah, those demons look way more animalistic. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, I saw something shining here. Oh, it's a box. And let's not hang around too long. Yeah, oh, oh, come on. I'd say the people that get killed quick here are the lucky ones. Yeah. And I think I know the best weapon against these guys. Box spray. No, no, better. Dragon cubes. Or a very big spray cube. Or a box up. Jane, stop dancing. Oh, oh no. I just not remember the Monty Python sketch I had for totally forgotten about. Okay, for some reason, Kane was stuck turning there. Okay, weird. Is it? Have you seen the sketch from Monty Python called How to Hunt a Mosquito? With a bazooka. I haven't. <laughs> no. It made it work a lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the fight, but they, they have the weird things going on. Okay. It does seem that a fully charged berserk with the axe does kill these things. Yeah, no, okay, no, no longer it's pix pixelated. I'm free for pixelation. I can see that those things are definitely demonic bugs. They're yeah. not skeletons. They just. Yeah, they just probably look like skeletons as a form of camouflage. Could be. And also, they. Yeah, they. they bugs resemble a skeleton. It's. It, Common. <laughs> what? Common. Oh, it is common. Yeah. Uh, I was just saying, uh, they, they, they are all try just terrifying to look at. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Who we'll mix the spiders with a skull on the bomb uh, blush? <laughs> but, yes. Uh, bugs resembling skeletons make some sort of sense because, well, with most of them, or at least uh, chitinous bugs, uh, they're basically wearing their skeleton on the outside. Yeah, actually, I actually got the concept of the uh, long ago as a kid playing Warcraft and not making a map editor. They decided to make one day make the, just out of curiosity, the skeleton screen. And it gave me so many ideas to, for, for things to draw. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I basically came up with the concept of uh, things, things that you could mistake for skeleton, they realized. It's a damn bug. <laughs> okay. Blue your about. I think I called them Nurkur. It sounds I, a I, bit actually, uh, like Nazgul. Yeah. Yeah, I think they, they got the name idea from Necron, but 
I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think uh, until now I realized it sounds a large goal. But yeah, I think I have a few pages of them, they're, they're warm somewhere. And I really went all out on Greek And I think even with a slight more crossing with them, like, like you have different nerd tool variants depending on what they dread with. Okay. Yeah, basically a bit of deep ones, but instead of, of a fishman, you have bogman. Yeah, so if those weren't bad enough on their own. Yeah, it, 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 yeah we basically talked about the dark holes that just use mutated priestesses to just breed them out. I th I think that's actually a thing in Shadowrun. I, but I actually I think first time I ran into a similar concept of it was from the Dragon Age with the dog spawn. Mm, but not really sure Shadow if those count as insectile. No, but they did uh, kidnap women and force them to, you know, yeah, mutated versions. Yeah, I think there are actually, is actually uh, in Sh Shadowrun a cult that basically uh, worships bugs of sorts. I think they play a role in Shadowrun Returns, but it's been ages since I've played that game, so I could be completely wrong. I know a bit about Shadowrun, but not much. I never had a chance to play it, sadly enough. Okay, what's the point of... Oh, I can stand on top of this and then I can jump to that, I'm guessing. Uh, now I wonder, will the Shadowrun work on the Twitch or is that more better suited as a YouTube thing? Uh, it's an RPG. Uh, a tactical RPG, so it could work. Though, I don't really have much interest in that. I, I could work on... or work with... One of these side games was of that. There were two sort of expansions, you could call them. Um, okay. Hong Kong and Dragonfall or something. I heard that those were better than the main game. Okay, that's not common. Usually spin-offs are usually bad uh, here. Well, depending on the spin-off, really, I guess. Okay, do we really just need to time the jump or something with this thing? Because I've built three times already. No idea, and it's pixelated for me again. Wait, why did um, I need that thing if I can just leap off of here? It might be a red herring. And if you look look close, it's a it's a damn train that goes in a circle. Yeah. So it might be a red hearing a little bit uh, a bit of a yoke possibly for the developers. Oh, I think I we just think... yeah we diverted the track, and that's going to ram into the the doors we're back there. Uh, all right. So it's not a uh... choo choo motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> come on! Don't de don't deny us like that game. Give us our steampunk Thomas the Tank Engine that pl plows through the fucking door. Oh, God. oh if someone's been busy here already. Oh yeah, they definitely wanted to keep something out and failed. Okay, let's see. We have had. Uh... Paus, Marcus, Sebastian. I bet I mean if the next one is called Magnus or Joseph. Uh, Joseph would probably be too on the nose. Yeah. Okay, one uh, to the side each, and then one to grab. Can't grab that. How much can 
can it turn another time to that? Or can it turn any further? No, it can't. It probably can't turn any further from the other side either. Can you just pluck a single rock out of that? Look at its game. I do think some people are a bit unfair about the aesthetic with all the steampunkness. For in some of the other games, they did have steampunk uh, things going on. Like yeah, the, the heating in Soul Reaver One, but that was a rarity. Yeah, that, but then don't forget you know, that huge music tower as well. I'm not really sure if that would count as steampunk. Yeah, maybe not steampunk, but. Definitely in some form of uh, tech, but there was a lot of metal in there. Yeah. And some kind of steam piping as well on some locations. Uh, yeah, that, those those were sonic. Pipes. Those were wind pipes. Oh uh, yes, wind pipes. But yeah, you get the idea. And for all that kind of metal, you definitely need some advanced forges. Yeah. And in the lore, as you even you showed me the video of, that confirms it, that they have some tech things going on to just cloud out the sky. And they're not really tech, just uh, smokestacks. Yeah, extreme versions. Did that activate the entire band? Yes, it did. Okay. I guess uh, you could say that this game just. Uh, Try to amp up with the tech stuff. And with the healer going on, it makes sense, and children were very much scientists. Okay, there's our rock. Now, what to do with our rock? It's not a pet rock, so we don't need to feed it. Oh, no. here's another. another crane? <laughs> With your feet. Wait, you do need to, to be the pet, uh, pet rock. Oh, that's the one who died. You're the pet rock. Oh, that. Okay, now Kane is going to train with the crane. And hopefully prevent a lot of pain. Oh dear. And also, folks, if you heard the uh, term no pain, no gain, it's a lie. That has to do with... Okay, <laughs> that was a powerful brew. Do you just drop a rock on a bomb? Uh, it looked more like a, some sort of concoction. Okay. Well, I was saying, I think they, I heard that uh, recently, recently you have been looking into it, and I know that. No pain, no gain, Moto. It's doing way more harm, and it's a lie. Yeah, if your if your muscles start to hurt, then it's more time to to quit instead of keeping going. Yeah, and sure, soreness is one thing, but you should even prevent being sore to begin with. And yeah, of course. That's when a muscle start, or, yeah. when a muscle wrong. starts to hurt, it means it's tearing. And yeah. yeah, muscles muscles need to uh, heal themselves to grow stronger. But when you're tearing muscles, uh, you're tearing it beyond what it can heal eventually. Yeah. Um, I told him. She cursed him. I told him. The old witch. Her minions would come and slay us all. I told him. <laughs> Wait, so those were the witches? Uh, okay, that that was unnecessary from Kane, but it's Kane. He's an yeah, asshole. Don't forget to save, just in case, you know. And another demon. That doesn't want to approach. Might as well save then. <laughs> How far well, are we? I mean, okay, 75% through. I think I know why. He didn't want to cross the line. 
Uh, well, there's a line I want to cross. Or actually, I want to draw a line across his face. I have an idea for looking at that. Like, you put to it, and you use this crown so on. Okay. Um, on the next... On the next one, we can use Berserk to cut it to ribbons, and there's another nest. Can I keep the skull? No, oh, hello there. It, it seems that weapons take are more... You're a lie. Okay, <laughs> I was completely expecting that to happen <laughs> during the attack. But I guess that confirms that the glowy ones are stronger. Yeah. Good God. But yeah, I also, I also heard the reason that uh, apparently you should not be stretchy before exercise. Okay. Apparently there's... Apparently, I, I wish I had to check it out if there's new info yet, but apparently... That means sign that if you stretch before you do exercise, you just risk doing more straining against the muscles. Yeah, that might be overstretching, what you're thinking about, but... Yeah, yeah and I, I, I wouldn't surprise if too many people are overstretching it. Again, it, it, that's been a while I watched um, List 25, because I think it was from them I learned this from. Okay, I can't jump to there. Also, I just realized where I heard these bird noises before. Unreal. Oh. Unreal? Yeah, as in the game. Are you telling me they're using another game's bird sound? Yeah, they, were, they are stock sounds, so basically everyone can use them. Alright, yeah, that, that makes sense. Especially with Wilhelm scream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that hoot. <laughs> that was a... Yeah. A hoot you heard everywhere. Yeah, those are just sounds that uh, movie and game makers can get anywhere. Or probably have already in their library. That they don't yeah, have they... anyone to pay for to use. Yep, and this owl sounds weird. Yeah. Okay, the bird your sounds fine, but I think the bird, the owl one sounds very digitalized. I think we have to. It was that simple. Oh, hello there. What? Goodbye, sir. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I sometimes I prove myself to be an idiot by not noticing things in the environment and other times by overthinking them. <laughs> yeah, it's been there. Thank you. Thank you. I think I was stuck when I was some I forgot what game it was. I was stuck on it for Almost several days or something, so I ended up doing side quests. Uh, okay, then we'll go back and look what I can be moving. Then I found the up and I think I looked it up on the internet. And I almost uh, wanted to click the table. Okay. It was. I got a full of words from what it was. I only remember I got a case of. How would anyone figure that out? Like, you're supposed to wait too well hidden without hints, and they expect you to find that. And one of those so stupid uh, moments that I thought I was stupid, but no, it was a common complaint I think was on that game, on that section. No, oh, I, I was I was wondering why that one was running, but now I fully understand. Oh dear. It's a butt stabbers. 
day so I could complete it. I just realized, can we still kill them? Um, there hasn't been, there hasn't been any mist here, and that thing resets. Okay. So bad news. Okay, we need to bring power to here. I'm guessing, or bring it. That also resets. saying no to this well yeah we are having a bit of a, a follow the flame puzzle that we need to guide power from one place to the other ah. okay this guy is at least somewhat smart in that he's barricaded himself in here even though I'm pretty sure those spiders could just reach through these bars and stab him. Yeah. Um, wait, is there stone walls around him otherwise, beside the bars? Uh, this, this looks like stone. Alright, so that's hopefully be safe. But uh, if it was wood, then I could see them piece it through the wood, to the plants of them as well. Then again, those are demon bugs, so uh, yeah, maybe Wox is not safe enough either. Yeah. And yeah, we need to be up here sooner to activate that. Uh, they've damaged the glyph, so it can't provide power constantly to the battery. Now we swap to jump. Um, stay in place long enough. I said stay in place. <laughs> Just perfect timing to screw that up. should go back anyways okay still in time for that Whee! at the very least it's going rather slowly so it's giving us more than enough time for this part okay is there anything else that I need to correct in the past I have no idea which way I need to send this. Didn't say follow the light. That's going to that battery. And I was not paying. I, I noticed the big ass buck in front of me, but. Okay, that's power, but. What good is that to me? I think we just turn it off. And now we can do that all over again. That's the best ever eat of time with infiltration. actually grab these things? No. Shut up. Wait, I, I know I had a... I know I had a note here somewhere of games to possibly let's play in the future, but... Where the hell did it go? 
Not that one, not that one. Not that. Uh, this time let's deal with these things. Ah, gotcha this time. Yeah, you get a bit too used to uh, the visual markers of certain attacks. That you stop looking towards what they're actually doing. And I'm saving the Berserk for the other one. in the background just there. Let's have a look around. Nothing special here. Here we go, I put my sandwiches. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, you said something about other games? Uh, yeah, I had a note somewhere of games to possibly let's play, not, not, let, not let's play stream in the future. But I don't have it lying around here, it seems. Maybe I have it downstairs somewhere, for some reason. Yeah, so I probably thought that needs to be game for... I think I... Hmm. Yeah, yeah I haven't seen anyone streaming Disney games. Except a few rare reviews. Uh, it could be because of copyright stuff. Yes, like Nintendo has finally learned, but I guess Disney haven't. Yeah. Oh, I hear someone inside there. Oh, that that's the same guy in the box. <laughs> you know. Do we need to give a lesson again? What's, what is a box and what is a cage? Oh, he's trapped either, all the way. He's trapped either way. Alright. That's why we don't need to teach you the difference between a mouse and an elephant again. Yeah, come on, the bar is in the way. Uh, don't worry, people. He's not that stupid. Yet. I hope he is. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, yet? <laughs> oh, sorry, I got a bloody cloud. Well, we have plenty of games, plenty of time to prove myself an idiot. One, uh, two, three, four. That should be enough. I think I lost control of my voice a bit there. I got louder than I wanted. Okay, still just in time with that. Uh, yeah, with those two things dead, this should be a lot easier. Or, well, infinitely easier. Yo, yeah, come on! What? Like, half a second too late. And it stopped at the circuit breaker. Yep, oh, guess I proved myself that idiot. No, this is just bad fucking time. Okay. Then again, I think this is before people don't get because we get a bit more known that people hate diamond puzzles. Yeah. Though luckily there haven't there hadn't been any others in this series. And well the Blood Omen games are more of an RPG than the Soul Weaver ones. Jay, pull it now, that should be enough. Jay. And now we wait for it to show up here. 
Take, go. There we go. Now, let's see if that does turn it off. Okay, there was another gate at the other side, but that had a broken lever. Uh, hello, Cobras and Fire. Actually, uh, there was no need for the patch because it was just a stupid... Well, what I read on the patch it actually only fixes a small amount of things. Uh, and what was really going on is that the charm power is just plain glitched. And that it, if you're too far away from a target, they uh, get stuck in a panic loop. So all I had to do was get closer, and that would have fixed it. So, yeah, I just recorded me kicking Sebastian's ass and played that in front of the stream this time. Probably not the, probably not the most entertaining way to show it, but yeah, <laughs> I'd say we'd seen Sebastian's nonsense more than enough times by then. I think it was the most annoying boss fight yet. And yeah, it was just annoying. At least the other one had a slightly more funny in a way. Yeah. But then you can play a blue monk at the bell. Yeah, those, <laughs> those at the very least were entertaining as well. Yeah. Oh. Most, not most entertaining, but okay, that attack probably would have killed me if it landed. Yeah. So we need a safe point. Oh, but that'll certainly help in the meantime. Oh, God. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, ne next time I have a uh, glitch problem, we are. Yeah, we just call glitch tech. Yeah, that that's a show that uh, we've been watching uh, <coughs> together lately. Uh, I've I've already seen it. it. It's a good show, and well, <laughs> you certainly sounded like you've been enjoying it. I actually listened a bit to the music this morning. <laughs> There's the who are a rare thing. They have an extended version. Of this intro, oh, and it, they caught me this yep. time. Yep, and there, there's more lyrics to it. And it, it is good. Okay, I'll have to give that a listen. Yeah, uh, oh, lyrics. come on. That more was lyrics. just plain cheap. Okay, okay, oh, there. Fuck you. Normally, you start extended versions of an opening in anime, or you can anime it part with normally just a shorter version of an actual song. Yeah. On our actual band. So, yeah, Glitch Tech is. I, I don't actually think I'll call Glitch Tech a Western anime. But they borrow so much stuff from anime that they basically keep turning into an anime in a way. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah. something uh, that probably a lot of people don't know of the Rescue Rangers theme has an extended edition. Yeah, rescue rangers. Yep. Okay, that that's a surprise since there are normally all no extended versions of uh, Western uh, cartoon openings. Yeah. And another thing, apparently there is a reboot of the Rescue Rangers in the works. Oh please! I hope they pull another Ducktail uh, thing there. Be gone, dark one. I did not send for you. And uh, yet, here I am. So I see. Kane, the disruptor. The pebble in the pond who destroys all he touches. You know me, woman? Better than you know yourself. And do you know why I'm here? Perhaps. I seek information, and I must have it. What can you tell me of the device? The device? <laughs> <laughs> You're playing a dangerous game. Return to your night hunting vampire. 
Enjoy what time remains to you, short though it is. I desire far more than blood. Where is the device? I will not go without an answer. Do you so enjoy being Bordor's lapdog? I am no man's dog, witch. No, I see that now. I sense your conviction. I shall help you. If Norsgoth is ever to be healed, the device must be destroyed. And you, of all men, could be the one to do it. Know this. The device has lain dormant beneath Meridian for time beyond time. But now, the Seraphan Lord has empowered the machine to unleash its destruction upon the land. The entrance to the device lies in the heart of the city itself, under the very noses of the aristocracy. You will know the building by this sign. You will see this more than once, but the first one will show you the entrance to the device. No human can operate it, but a vampire could. What must I do? Come here. Drink. Drink my blood. Now! <clears throat> what manner of creature are you? You are like no vampire that I have seen. Who I am, what I am, is of no concern to you. Time presses... He is here. Do as I tell you. If you are to destroy the device and save Nolsgoth, you must drink. Ah. Oh, good. Yes, drink, my dark prince. Feel my powers coursing through your veins. What's that? You can manipulate objects already by sheer will alone. But, as you were taught, you can only use this ability at close range. By drinking my blood, you will be granted the gift of telekinesis. You will be able to manipulate objects at a great distance. And you will be able to activate this simple and enter the device. Okay, uh... Leave them in fire. Let them learn as they writhe in the flames and their bones dissolve the futility of their actions. The vampire and all of his kind shall be raised from the land. This world will be made pure by my hand. Wait, I will he... give you the peace you seek, Cain. Your death beckons you. He has found you. Your destiny draws even closer. I will transport you to the device. From there, use your newfound ability to gain entrance. What of you, Seer? Escape with me. I'm in need of allies. Am I your ally? My fate lies along a different path. Goodbye, Kane. What? Okay. What the heck? That felt uh, a bit rushed. Also a bit kinky. Yeah. Okay. Just okay. Just now I have pixelation from my end. I had the warning on the thing on the corner. Oh, that's not uh, totally evil looking. <laughs> that's real children. Uh, and yeah. If you hadn't noticed, uh, Drakir, Krobas, and Fire is back in the chat. In the last message, it's vampires, they have to be kinky. It's the Lord, lol. Oh, you're right there about that. And welcome back, lad. Okay. Now you can sit with us and join our ah. torment. There's the marker. And <laughs> it's out of our reach. Let's see, a bit back then. There we go. I wonder if that symbol is meant to... Okay. <laughs> How is nobody in the city noticing this? But I get the feeling we are rapidly approaching the end of the game. I think they have noticed this, they just very considerate they know what they think. <laughs> I 
Oh, okay. almost walked into that. We've uh, pulled that stunt early, <laughs> often enough earlier. Yeah? Uh, Cobras on fire again. They're like, nah, man, it does that every <laughs> now and then. Those are going hard to block our pass out. Wait, wait. Okay, that's a that's a specific doorbell noise. <laughs> Strange how one's life casts a shadow far beyond one's own understanding. Here, in this alien vault, I discovered a being whose existence was entwined with mine far more than I could ever imagine. Hell? Disturbs me. Not one of my captors. Pain? You know me, monster. My memory at present has its flaws, but I should certainly remember such as you. We have not met. I know of you, of course. That you can return from the dead gives hope to us all. I seek an ancient device of great power. I am prepared to kill any who stand in my way. Have no fear of me. I am enslaved by the fiends that built this monstrosity to feed this machine with my life. Then perhaps we have an interest in common. I'm here to destroy the device. Yes, yes, I can help you then. Ah. Uh, that which you seek is too great for you to destroy alone. It descends far underground. It rivals a city in its size. To destroy the device, you must seek out the being that built it. The Seraphan Lord. No, no, it is older, far older. Those who dwelt in Nosgoth eons ago left some structures in their passing. The device is one. The Seraphan Lord discovered how to use it. Only the Builder can make it stop. You mean to tell me that this being still lives? It's impossible. Uh, he is. Listen to me. There is a place in Nosgoth far to the north where time means nothing, where hours and years are frozen for eternity. The eternal prison. The wretches imprisoned there pay for their crimes for eternity. The Builder is there. Ah, ah. The eternal prison. I have heard of such a place. I didn't realize it was so close to Meridian. How do I reach it? There is a tunnel leading out of the city through this room. It will take you to the prison. And if this builder refuses my help? Tell him you wish to destroy the device. Believe me, he will aid you. I hope for your sake that what you have told me is true. <laughs> you may believe me. Destroying the device will free me. At last, I will be in your debt, Cain. Okay, that was quick. Also, yeah, what do you think that was? No idea. Uh, well, what vampire bat-like character have we uh, seen before? Wait, Kasta Gig or whatever his real name was? Jarrell. Jarrell. Wait. Wait, he said we have not met. Yeah, I'm guessing... I'm guessing they used a part of this... Uh, game as a prototype for... Well, what happened to Jarrell, because... Yeah, they know Cain, which implies that they are from the future... And were sent back, like the Cain... No, not, not the Cain, like Jarrell in Defiance. 
and yeah, mm. which would also explain why this game is non-canon, because well, Terrell sort of dies in defiance, which takes place in front of this in the timeline. Yeah, so it could not. It could have to be someone else. For here's the thing: the children have enslaved demons and controlled some of them. So it, that could also just be a demon that they just have enough of it. Yeah, so maybe. It, but it, the the comparison is very well they are both bat like with big ass ears not as big in defiance and uh, hello there wolves 3033 uh, okay cobras and fire i honestly thought defiance was the last game time wise technically defiance is the second game in the timeline because it takes place at the same time as blood omen 1 or, well uh, yes and no they go back and forth. Uh, yeah, but by the time it ends, it is. Uh, by let's me see. Um, I'm trying to recall the the events at the moment. But as you are playing uh, Defiance, or at no, at the end of Defiance, it uh, you see the pillars collapse. So that means that it is, or no, not collapsed. You see them get corrupted, I think, which is happens because Cain from Bl in Blood Omen One refuses to sacrifice himself, uh, which throws the pillars and starts the whole uh, starts the whole shenanigans. And uh, Drakir Wolf Thirty Three also says hello to you. Oh, hello. But. Yeah, I should really work on a spreadsheet or something of how everything in this game just goes with time travel because there there are like three different timelines that uh, slot into each other. Let's see, but I thought that's because Kane righted himself while fucking around in the time streams and said it it said it right. Uh, how do you mean that there? You, you could probably write a full on essay on all of the time shenanigans in this series. I think a few YouTubers basically have. Uh, At least a few who covers the game. Yeah, it is an old series. And, well, the, com the complexity drives people away as well. Yeah. Okay, eerily quiet and wait, did there? No, <laughs> okay, that I thought the rat's footsteps changed when it crossed over the grate here, but that's just part of the background noise. <laughs> but they are rather big. No, the heck, you could just pick up a grill them. <laughs> yep, that's predictable. Uh, I don't know you. Are you a guest? A visitor? An intruder? We do not permit guests to disturb our routine. We are involved in the important work here and nothing, nothing must be allowed to interfere. This is a place where those who have transgressed the laws of the gods and man and so created a dangerous imbalance within themselves contemplate the wrongs that they have done through peaceful, uninterrupted meditation until they have regained the balance of their true, perfect inner nature. This process must not be interrupted for any reason until a spiritual transformation has been achieved, however long that may take. Thus, no guests, no visitors are allowed. And intruders, we know how to deal with. Go, now. Peaceful meditation. <laughs> uh, okay. That last bit that that could would have been 
that, that would have fits right into a fucking Monty Python skit. <laughs> And I think the game just broke Rick here. <laughs> That's my job. I'm on the floor. <laughs> uh, the Cobra is on fire again, so they collapse, yeah, but they were supposed to uh to know to because there was a co yeah, supposed to, because wasn't he like the bringer of a new age? Yeah, if Cain had uh, killed himself, it would the pillars would only have collapsed later, with no vampires to uh, become guardians. <laughs> uh, like he was supposed to kill himself and didn't, right? Yeah. Uh, Cain was supposed to take Ariel's place, right? And didn't, so that made her lover kill himself and... Then that rather corrupted, further corrupted her, cause Cain was supposed to kill himself to return the balance, but he didn't, so it began the corruption, which I thought was supposed to happen anyway, but in a good way, when he killed himself. A uh, small correction there. Uh, I think Ariel was killed, not... Um, <coughs> uh, let's see how it, to word it. Cain was born the moment that Ariel died. So, he wasn't the cause of that. The reason... Uh, I, oh, I remember now, I think. Um, Mobius orchestrated the assassination of multiple members of the Circle. Or, mul was it Circle or Guardians? I think it was... Gu yeah, Guardians was the term. He, he orchestrated multiple of the Guardians to be murdered. Amongst which was uh, Ariel. And her lover, uh, I've, I've forgotten his name, except for that it's, uh, it's, was it Nos Raptor? It's not Raptor. <laughs> not Raptor. The guardian of mind, I think. He, uh, he went rather cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs at her death, which drove the entire rest of the circle insane, as well yep. as Kane, who had just been born, because for, apparently the guardians are linked somehow yeah especially with knob raptor for his men mental powers yeah and, and yes it's it, a horrible name <laughs> and yeah if kane had sacrificed himself there it would have cleansed the pillars but then the the pillars the guardianship would have you know, fallen back to humans alone who over time would have become corrupted again. <laughs> uh, CNF again. I'm just so happy to be talking Legacy of K. Now a little overexcited. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the lore of this series is deep and intricate. Uh, oftentimes, intricate can be confused for complicated, usually overcomplicated. But yeah, with some work, it can be uh, wound together in a logical way. Yeah, with uh, yeah. a few brain aneurysms here and there. <laughs> yeah, it just takes a moment for... At the first glance, you will be confused. But they did try to do their best to keep a very simple timeline. At least some simple time rules, at least. Yeah. Anywhere we can go, or are we locked in the lobby? <laughs> uh, Crowbars again. Simple, yes, with very obvious air quotes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More simple than the average timeline stuff about time travels. Yeah, it's certainly persistent, or no, cons consistent in how its time travel works. Yeah, like. Helian's words here. If you're meant to go back in time, you go back in time. So you don't can't change the past since you're meant to go back and try to change the past. A uh, more different wording. If you went back in time, that means that you've always gone back in time. 
and that whatever you changed always happened where already was changed. Yeah. And the only exception is when two soul reavers meet. Yeah, or actually two soul reavers or two souls. As, uh, well, Raziel is a living example of. Yeah. Basically, a paradox of two items, people existing in the same state and, uh, <clears throat> And time and place. <laughs> At least Kane isn't his own grandfather. Yeah, that would have gotten things weird. Yeah, lock it up, they did not do that. Which is, I think, what they did with uh, Back to the Future. Oh, hello! <laughs> you can start playing Destiny uh, Duel of Fates here. <laughs> Okay. What the heck was that? I think that it was a circus team. Yeah, I think I was to do actually do a circus team. <laughs> yeah, don't trust me with music. I will probably butcher it. I probably can write a hilarious lyric, but to sing it myself. Oh, oh hello. Oh. Bye. No. And no. You know, let me introduce you to Demon Spider. Damn, what the hell were those things before? Let's a demon. He's not actual spider that went the others. Okay, at least I don't have to block their attack to kill them. And I do not want to know how that tastes. <laughs> not in the slightest. <laughs> but I think okay. I think Rakir pictured how it tasted. Uh, yeah, like Susterman. Oh wait, if it, if it tastes like Susan or Mary, I think King will die. I tell you, the keys just seem to get stuck at times for some reason. Wait, what? Did you say potatoes? No. Oh, oh I must re re really mi misheard you there. You're mumbling. Apparently, these spiders are so bad that at least one of them is imprisoned for all of eternity. I think he's just waiting for you. Come in here, boy. He's gonna nibble your legs. If this release is that thing, I'm going to... Okay, that's better. Uh, oh, come on! What? Oh, and another one. Yeah. And there's an axe on the floor. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep my uh, Darth Maul blade. No spiders, no spiders. No pizza either. You there! I see you have not yet found your way out. I suggest you do so. Your presence may disrupt the progress some are making toward fulfilling the inner balance of their perfect nature, and that cannot be allowed. Heed my warning and depart at once! Boy. The heck is... Oh, did he just freeze time? Or... Wait, there's two of them? I... I think the other one was, might be female, but... Yeah, I'm a bit unsure. Okay, so even the timeless prison isn't same from the ravages of time. Am I only one getting a bit 
wait, why are you from those two? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're a bit kooky themselves as well. Yeah, I know the game had some sort of comical moments, but that felt a bit... Yeah, yeah they're funny, but also feel out of place almost. Well, I don't want to feel like they feel out of place. <clears throat> Pardon me for that. Yeah, no worries. Uh, Krovas, you're interrupting their meditation. <laughs> well, seeing as that all of the inmates seem to be uh, zombies or completely insane, I th think we're not help. Uh, we're not disturbing much of anything. So, uh, I do not like spiders, but I'm not exactly afraid of them either. Or at least not these types. And well, they're stuck. Yep. All the better for me. The wheel screen is big, like the, those, the, uh, the oh, oh, come on! No, I, I am not going to get Sparta kicked by a fucking spider! And we broke him again, people. Okay, as I was saying, I do not like spiders, but it's more the hairy types that I really don't like. Uh, oh, come the hell on! <laughs> Okay, and we are past two hours now, but let's just finish up this a bit at the very least. Yeah, let, let, let's get to our step point. Get out of... Uh, Auto-phasing got locked in again for some unknown reason. Like, I do not get why this... It just altern... Oh, come on, is that going to be the standard point where it drains these things from? <laughs> It seems to be, yeah. I will have to admit that it is the biggest, flashiest part, but... Unless... oh no. What if it they use that end to drain blood for others? Vampire spiders? That <laughs> would be... something. But they, are, but they are demon spiders, but... Even demons love the taste of blood. Have I not told you that you do not belong in this place? Have I not told you to go? But you have not heeded my warnings. Now I must explain my meaning in a manner you are sure to understand. Dude, you stuck me on a fucking island with only one way to go. This is your own fucking fault. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let it attack me for a bit because I want to see what the Berserk power does with this thing. Come on. Okay, so basically the same, only it looks cooler. <laughs> and it's, it's actually dead. And I can't take its sights. I can't take... Uh, um. I can't take all the fluid from your uh, breast implants, apparently. <laughs> um, I think you turned into a blood pump. Okay. Um. 
a warning, your weapons are almost broke, so better grab the axe. Yeah. Oh, we're right back here again. I have to say, that's a nice axe. It looks to be made out of copper or bronze, perhaps. But as I was saying uh, yet again, it's not really the bald spiders I typically have an issue with, it's more the hairy ones. And also more like their webs and their poison that freaks me out the most. Yeah, so, I can tell people freaking out over poisonous spider. You should be careful of those. Yeah, and ones that specifically set me off with me wanting to just run away are like in uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Also because those things leap at your fucking face. Uh, oh gosh. I and their poison distorts your vision, which only makes things worse. Uh, yeah, I don't have too much of a problem with spider. I, I've had them. I don't want them in my house. But, oh gosh, I never have one. I don't know what species of spider was. I have those poisonous spider in Sweden. I don't know what. But there's one spider I've only seen once in Sweden. And it looked horrifying. <laughs> what the heck? Someone's having a laugh at our expense. Yeah, he's, he was not hairy, he was not bald, he was fawned. Okay, yeah, do not want, nope, zero out of ten, would not fuck with, ever. Yeah, um, I have to check what kind of spiders we have in Sweden that are so fawned. For, when I saw it, it, it was like, the only, only time I've seen yeah, and four spiders is from video games, and this was a, was a tiny one, but still, I did not know four spiders was a real thing. Yeah. And I don't know if they shook it up to make sure that it was not a weird dream I had, but it looked like it hissed at me. Okay, spiders, <laughs> shut up there, you. Uh, spiders do not really hiss to my no I. I think the Hello. most sound that they could ever make would be clicking, and even then it's so soft that you can't even hear it, I think. Yeah, I'm I, I just using this thing because it looked like it tried to hiss at me for it was moving its mouth. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was a real freaky one. But yeah, I, 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 was... I think one of yeah. the reasons why I just don't like spiders, even in real life, is that I do not like on... Um, uh, well, with my uh, short sleeves, it does maybe not f seem as fitting, but I do not like getting touched uh, <laughs> without consent, really. Or to have... Uh, not... not that would... that's a bad wording. I do not like unexpected touches. Like, uh, I do not like a eating apples whole because I just do not like the feeling of the, the thing against my face uh, when I get through to it. Probably okay. not a good way to say it either, but yeah, I, I just do not like spiders. Yeah, I don't hate them, but I don't love them either. As long as, as long as you are in the garden or the forest, fine. I just don't want them in the house. Yeah, once they pass concrete, they've sent their they've signed their death warrant. Yeah, I, I nowadays I try to get them out alive if possible. But if they're gonna try to make it too hard for me, I will kill them like the bees. I, I try, try to get bees out of my room, now I have bug net, nets against them. <laughs> but I have had moments where I have to use a vacuum cleaner to get rid of them. <laughs> and here's the thing, I, I use spare parts of other vacuum cleaner to extend the hose. So I have a long rifle of a vacuum cleaner just to get rid of them. Yeah, the most concerning part that I've heard there is that you somehow regularly get bees in your room. <laughs> Used to. No, not that I got the nets. Uh, yeah, I have I have bug nets in front of two of the windows that I open the most you often as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. They used to want to come in during summers, and here's the thing. I live on the eighth floor. Why they are up here is beyond me. I have no flowers. There's no living flowers in the apartment either. Only plastic ones. Uh, maybe they smell something sweet? 
I want the candy or my fruit left over, like the banana peels and all that. Yes, I'm a person that eats fruit, and I eat the blue apple. Yeah, Except I think the... I think bananas technically count as a sort of flower, but it's just yeah. semantics. I mean, we've we've gone on long enough with this now. I think uh, ten yeah. minutes have passed, two hours. Okay. <laughs> we forgot uh, the time here. Uh, yeah, anyways then, anyone has been watching, now later on on YouTube, thank you for watching, and thank you especially, Hedrick here. Oh, you're welcome! And um, yeah, next time we'll continue with the internal prison. I really get the feeling that we are closing in on the end of the game, so maybe one or two at the, at the longest three streams, I'm thinking. And after that, I'll... Uh, I'll have to pick between a ground or well I I think I'll continue with hydrophobia because that has a lot more of a set ending, I'm pretty sure. A ground I think might be a bit of a uh, might be more of a <coughs> uh, a thing that just goes on and on and on for a good long while, so we'll have to find an end to spot to a spot to end that probably. Yeah. And after that, I'll have to find that freaking note with all the games I was thinking about streaming. Like the Darksiders games. Uh, Prince of Persia can go on that list now, but it'll be at the end. Uh, Those are upcoming games that would be fun, like the new Resident Evil. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that would be a game for me. But Ooh. we'll have to see. For yeah, now though, uh, like Beanie, let me go through the users in chat that are noted here on my phone. Alright. And it says there are three, but I'm pretty sure there should be someone else here as well. So in reverse alphabetical order, thank you for watching Wolf33. Uh, thank you for telling people about uh, me streaming. Uh, if anyone comes, it's their choice. It's I do this for my own fun and with uh, Rakira, really. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's no loss if people do not watch or not. Uh, da -da -da. Thank you, uh, streamers area. Uh, well, Twitch is an area for streamers, so. <laughs> Thank you, Discord for streamers. Uh, okay, I, I think I've seen that before. It might be a bot. Uh, not really sure. If you aren't a bot, uh, sorry for that. that. Uh, I might eventually set up a Discord if there is enough interest uh, for people watching me. And of course, thank you for watching Cobras and Fire. Uh, he says that we are close to the end and reacting very enthusiastically to Prince of Persia. If you like RE5, making a baby with seven and then it could be fun, lol. Oh, I, I see how you mean that now. <laughs> oh, he's fine. Yes, uh, thank you for playing Legacy of Kane and also thanking Legacy of Kane with me. Uh, he was talking about Resident Evil 8 there. Oh. Yeah, I have. I've only ever played Resident Evil 4 on the Wii. Uh, talking about that, uh, I might eventually look into how capture cards work because I have a Wii U over here, here hooked up for Wii games, uh, a Switch, PlayStation 4, and well, you can see a few of my collection up there, the Xbox, Xbox 360, I have a virtual reality headset, Oxless Quest, so I should be able to stream that without, um, what's it called again, uh, capture cards. And so, yeah, I might look into capture card streaming at some point uh, but first I'll have to figure out how those things work and see if I can find one at a good price for good quality and of course if there is actual interest from Drakir and such to watch me play like games like Red Steel 2 and whatever else I have in my collection as long as it's easy to link up to Discord for me to watch or something without me having to download yeah, the program. Yeah, that, yeah, that will be 
that'll be a requirement that I it shows up something on the computer so I can stream it to Pierre because well he is half of this streaming channel uh. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm the one that are the, basically like caveman with computers <laughs> oh, so let me uh, it doesn't really matter if I keep this open I'm just going to load back and get healed up anyways but yeah finally now at a bit of an extra long stream again anyone who's been watching thank you for watching and until next time but until then until then Let's see, folks, and watch out for seagulls. <laughs> yeah.